Man, there's a, there's a lot there. So I, I want to stay on that thread now. Um, cause, and you brought up John Burns again. So even like pre COVID, I, I remember his, um, his thoughts and you correct me if I'm wrong, you're more in tune than I am on this, but with millennials who saw their parents get beat up in the financial crisis with affordability becoming harder, he was saying, you know, we're going to get to a point where there's an obnoxious amount of renters compared to homeowners. I don't remember the facts or the numbers, but it was, you know, we're trending that way and you're seeing it in, in, in other places now. Do you see it, especially with interest rates going up, do you see that also being the case? The renter pool becomes higher than it is in current state today with everything that no, you just no doubt about there. I mean, so his original arguments have not changed. I think that they were valid when he made them. Of course, the book is five years out of date, so he really needs to write bigger shifts ahead, right? <laughs> Um, so I, I think today, if he was doing it, he would say, look, my original assumptions are still valid. The one thing that's changed is COVID has made people want to own a home more. It's become more important to them. But the counterbalance to that is U.S. homes are now 18% more expensive than they were a year ago. And in some parts of the U.S., as much as 40%, right? Austin went up 44% in the last year. Um, you know, Boise went up about 35%. So in some parts of the US, they're really, really expensive. And that prevents people from going from being renters to becoming homeowners. In 10 years, I expect 3D printing to completely change the paradigm. But in the meantime, I do expect that the percentage of owners versus renters will continue to shift in favor of rentership. I'll just say it'll go that direction for perhaps four to five years. And then things will change. Technology will bring change to real estate. 